Hello viewers, this is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. This should be the final bonus episode. Um, let's um, go over my equipment setup for the fight against um, Binsfeld again. This is an earlier save, but I leveled up to level 63 again. Got everybody's ultimate equipment. Let's start with um, equipment here. Um, Necromicon on Tim, Dan Darium. Um, ultimate equipment as always. Um, Brad's got the Talisman and Raftina. Um, I probably I'm not going to abuse um, Invincible, but I, I do have Raftina equipped for um, higher magic resistance for him, and he's just going to be tanking damage. Talisman for survivability, of course. Um, Luca has Necromicon and the Stero Medium. That's the Light Medium. Maraval, I'm not going to use her. I just gave her whatever. Um, There's nothing else I can really give her. I suppose I can give her the reflex. But, um, um, I probably won't use Marvel. Kanan, um, power boost and Zephyr, just for the attack power. Um, she's basically my last resort. Ashley has a Necomicon and no, no Guardian right now because he'll be getting, um, a different medium in a second here. But, um, I already have it equipped in another character. Um, yes, I gave Ashley a Necromicon. As for PS skills, same as always, really, um, except for one significant difference. I didn't bother using um, getting Brad up physical defense because, quite frankly, you don't really need physical defense for this fight. Um, yeah. Nothing really different. Until we get to Ashley. I gave him up magic attack. Um, you will see momentarily why I did that. Um, I haven't actually tested this strategy out, but we'll see if it works. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take a pause break here and be right back. Okay, I'm back, and um, let's uh, let's kick Vincel's ass. If there's time at the end of the video, I'll also show off the uh, the turn undead way of killing Vincel. Um, Vincefeld has 50,000 HP, which is not a lot. So basically, my general strategy is to kill him quickly. I don't know if this will work. I never did this before. But, eh, we'll see. I'll give it a few attempts. Um, this is take one. Okay, so, first things first, cast Nova Rain, Brad guards, or uses Invincible if you want to be cheap, and then combine. Okay, this should deal a lot of damage. Soul Deleter, that sounds awesome. Doesn't look like a light medium to me, I don't know, light guardian, but doesn't even look like a light attack to me, but... I guess now it does. Eh, not really. It looks more like a supernova. That should do a lot. Yeah, 10,000. Okay, good. Nova Rain's the big attack I need. Ah, oh, shit. It's alright. Okay... Yeah, look at that. That's that's insanity. Okay. Um, in comes Ashley. We've done about half of his HP. So let's give um, Ashley Stero. You can see where this is going. I am going to use a full carrot on Ashley and combine. The one and only time you will ever see me use combine with Ashley. Come on, Ashley. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. 
It's really the best I've got. I suppose I could have gotten critical for Brad, um, give him a light range. But um, I'd rather have him tank damage. Okay, good. So now I can have him combine again. Yeah. Look at that damage from Ashley. Um, oh, there goes Ashley. It's all right. Bring in Kanan. Don't have a choice now. Um, no, we'll leave. No, we need Marvel here. Um, okay, let's see here. Let's just summon Oscar. That's probably the most damaging thing I've got. Boost the railgun. And get to Wire Fist. And let's see. It'll be um, pretty close. I really need Power Boost to kick in here. Yeah, I just don't have time to get a Lucky Card off. He doesn't give much experience anyway. Come on, Brad. You can do it. Hey, Vinsfeld, remember this? Got him! Ha ha ha! All right! Well, there you go. It's possible after all. That was awesome. Well, there you go. I can't believe that worked. All right, so that's how you defeat Vinsfeld legitimately. As you can see, he pretty much always uses, in, uses Incur My Wrath. I mean, imagine Angomois always using Seventh Moon. Oh, wait, he did. No, but imagine that at the beginning of the battle. I mean, it, it's insane. Um, he's extremely difficult. Um, but anyway, um, that's really about the best way I can think to beat him legitimately. Um... Another thing I could have done is um, perhaps give Brad critical hit up um, the PS skill, then give him a light ring, and maybe he can get a lucky critical, do another 10,000. Um, you know, we'll see. Um, eh, whatever. Okay, well, I got plenty of time now, so let's just load up, and um, this time we'll gast uh, a little turn undead on him. See how that works on him. Let's we'll skip to the opening here. Now, all the all the FAQs I read were like be level 80 if you're gonna fight him legitimately, and well, there you go. You don't have to. I wouldn't try any less levels than I've got because you need up magic defense, up HP, and um, up parameters really helped out there. Actually, I was I'm quite surprised how much that helped out. I mean that that added another 4,000 damage to actually second combine there. But I mean, you gotta really abuse his light weakness. Oh, good, we got Tim in there. Go ahead and uh, wire hook across here.
You know what? Let's see what Tim has to say. He's gonna kill him, right? Not so tough anymore, are you, Vinsfeld? I imagine Power Seal is the way you're supposed to beat him, but, eh. I didn't even use Rafton in that fight. Alright. That's awesome. Well, I didn't use the invincibility ability. Um, only one full carrot, too. Ooh, that's Luka. Um, All you gotta do, go down to Turn Undead, cast it, and for some reason, it instantly kills him. I don't know why. Ah, well. Almost certainly a bug. For some reason, he doesn't trigger the boss flag. I don't know why. Turn and Dead's only supposed to do um, a percentage of max HP to... Um, to undead bosses, but not to Vinsfeld. I don't know why. Ah, well. But anyway, that's really about all I can do in uh, Wild Arms 2. I'm actually going to upload this um, right now because I'm very proud of my accomplishment here. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much the hardest thing you can do in the game, really. Um, I guess the only thing harder than fighting ghosts legitimately at low levels would be, well, moderately low levels would be an actual low level game or uh, no PS game or something, some sort of real challenge. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, beating ghosts legitimately, and I hope you are afraid of incurring his wrath now. So remember, when you encounter a poltergeist, standard procedure, bring a railgun. Oh yeah! Take care everyone.